thank you for today. We bless you. We glorify your name. Eternal rock of ages. The great I am that I am. The one that has made today possible. The one that knew of today even before we knew it. Father, bless your women. Father, that is my desire for everyone under my voice. For everyone watching online and even on Divine Hand Television. Father, bless us. We go through so much. Lord, you see and you know everything. Cause the works of our hands to multiply. Grant us confidence through financial freedom. And let your name alone continually be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Queen Barbara said something. He said, there are little things that you will do that will take you from being mama. Mama what? Mama Caro, the what? There are some prayer points where if you get money, you don't go pray. You will know me, and I will give it to you, hot, hot. There are some insults that will not be there if you have money. There are some sea finish that a lot of women experience. It's because he knows you don't have anything. And that's why you see a man that is not kind will make sure you don't have anything. Women, you know we don't pity for each other. Women don't pity for each other. Through generations, they've, you know, through, through some kind of laws, through some kind of customs, they've been able to put us against each other. Because see, if women come together, you see all this nonsense? For D-Wings, we are going to be connected more than ever before. Your sister's problem, and I'm not talking only financial. Sometimes what a woman needs, I wish men will understand. It's not everything that's about money. Sometimes we just, just give us a hug. And just say, well done. You know, Men, thank God for the kings amongst us. I say, every man that comes for D-Wings, you are wise. Because you hear the things that matter to us the most. Sometimes we just want to hear, well done. You might be the one that is doing all the work. But have all that money, do all the work. Let that woman not do anything for one month and see your life. And instead of us to hold our hands together, be there for each other, comfort each other, they know us for gossip. They know us for backbiting. They know us for, 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 for following other people's husband. Praise the Lord. This is the year where we will give ourselves sense. If you want your respect fully, I am telling you what many people might not want to say on the altar. Have what you are doing as a woman. Not every dime that you need should come from that man. You see, that's 1908. That's the method. And some men are still doing it to keep you dependent on them. Because if you don't have anything, I've told us, it's not every woman you can get up and say, pack and leave my house. Ask yourself, can he just get up and say, pack, leave my house? Can your home function without you? Or every time money comes, the man is afraid to tell you because he knows you either want to collect it to give your brother, you want to collect it to give your family, you want to go and buy the latest hair, you want to go and buy the latest shoe, you want to go and buy... Are you worthy of investment? Or, or is your husband going to be like that man that said, ah, you are a bad, bad woman? Every time I'm giving you money, you cannot multiply. Women are very good money managers. Better than men. You see all this emotional spending? They need to tell men. In fact, they need them pass us. Because some will open shop for girlfriend. Wife is not even selling Maggie. Don't be God go punish you. If you are a man here, see, you are just wasting your investments. Because when 
you give the mother of your children money, when you establish the mother of your children, the money remains within the family. But you are going to give somebody that you are part of the shareholders. Uh, you think you are the only one. As you are leaving, Alaji is coming. As Alaji is going, Senator is coming. As Senator is going, her young boyfriend is coming. They look at us. Ah, your shape has not done this thing. Your shape has not done this thing. Put all the children back inside me. We'll see how the shape will be. Women, that's why you see, stop overflogging yourself. I want us to read Proverbs 31. Read from verse 10. Proverbs 31 is not a pedestal for us to look at and aspire to be perfect. If you read it with wisdom and understanding and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you, you will become an excellent woman. A woman of this season is a woman that is confident of herself. If not, they will bring, bring the girlfriend her. In fact, they will do it to the and they will bring her home. They will tell her to come and serve her. Yes, now. It has happened. I'm a counselor. I, when I talk, I am talking with things I've seen, I've heard. My daughter is putting her hand on her chest. I don't like calling names. They will call her. Come, madam, come and serve. And you cannot talk. But it's not happening again. If you happen, just call us. After we met here, where are we? Can we just wave our hands? We we'll just show now. We put our Bible here. Ogalfa. No, that's where the wings is going. You know. The other one, you beat a woman, you will naked outside. She better not be a Dewings member. I'm ready. <laughs> we will pray that man into alignment. And if prayer don't work, option B. Nothing they happen. God is good. And all the time, God is good. And all the time, yes now. And you see my young daughters, you see how this one, the man will promise and promise. It's against the law. You know they will not tell us all this. They don't want more to know. I just found out recently. You say man cannot promise you marriage and he decides not to marry. Did you know? If you didn't know before, it is against it. You can take that man to court. Eh, some men are saying, Mama, oh, yes, so I go talk, I go talk, I go talk. You cannot, but it applies to you too. Oh, because some of you, you let the man train you to school. After school, you now say you don't want to do it again. So as you're happy for yourself, just don't say. <laughs> There's a word I'm looking for, it has not come. Oh, yours is your name. What am I trying to tell us? Build yourself. Be better at controlling your emotions. We are such emotional beings. You will see, you will quarrel with a man. You will be at home, your eye go red. The man, they be a pallor, they laugh, they watch football. Praise the Lord. Women, build yourself. You have heard what Queen Regina had to say. You have heard Auntie Barbara. Me, all man am you. Electrician, na certificate man. Architect, call me. Plumber, call me. Interior deco, I do. In case you have contracts, you know. <laughs> I run a spa. Not one, two. Praise the Lord. Me like this, I can load 20 container. Nothing. I wear my jeans, wear my t-shirt, enter there. Eh? I can carry house from China and bring for you. No problem. This is not the season where women are looking at other women and being jealous. This is the season where you do for yourself. Yourself. What are we talking about? This is the season where as a young girl, you're in university, you're not allowing peer pressure to, you know, pressure you to, to do the things that they are doing. Because they are wearing all this kind of schedule to you, you can't wait. You now do like this and snap. Tomorrow, God will not call you. They will not put, Mama. <laughs> In 2009. D Wings women. Everybody here is going to have something doing. God is going to bless what you are doing. 
you are going to marry a man that is supportive. Amen. My daughter, I don't want you to walk. Just stay in the house. I'll take care of you. Don't walk. Don't do business. Somebody say, fa fa fa. It's a lie, yo. When that man will show you, eh, pepe, your eye will turn purple. It's not red. I mean them to do. And that's why hmm, women must learn to make reasonable demands. So many women I've spoken to, they cannot communicate their needs to their husband. You are afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of what? Anger. And somebody said anger. What are you afraid of? That you cannot communicate your needs. What, what is it that we're afraid of? Who are you trying to protect above yourself? It is two people that makes a home. A happy and united front is better than where one is feeling like the God of the family. Allow him take charge, but have a voice. Respectfully. There was something Papa said. He said, women, they don't understand men. I said, how do you mean? He said, because when you understand man, you control the man. I said, Papa, I have to come for one of these doings. I'll come and tell us how to control this man. Because some of them, they are not, don't they lose? Because I know what some of my daughters go through. Yes, I know what some of us here, I'm even surprised my daughter is openly admitting some of the things I'm saying. I know what some of us here are going, the pepe we are seeing in the hands of these men. But you are afraid. You are afraid. What are you afraid of? Talk to somebody before you die in silence. If you die, that man will marry you. You are alive, sir. You don't get other people. When you are no longer there to even talk, what will happen? Ask yourself. I am alive. This man is doing this. If I'm not there, uncle. That's why I said we should grow beyond every day. You go, go house, go, they fight. Every day you go house, go, they, you, you'll be thinking. You think, think, think. So tell you have high blood pressure. For man, girl, remember I can't draw your ear. Proverbs 31. Let's read from 10. Please open your Bibles with me. Just very quickly. If we, if we can have it on the screen, please, let's have it. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her, her price is far above rubies. So you see, even in your character and your presentation, you're not going to go on the streets and be fighting. Say, my husband is following you. Which vow did that girl, that girlfriend take with you? Where she know you from? Is it not the man that has lowered himself and gone to her? You will not leave the man. The funny thing is that some of you will not even keep madness with your husband. The innocent girl, whether they not put gun for the man's head, come and follow me. You will not see outside, you will not be fighting. They will not film you and put on social media and you are proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah, this man. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need for spoil. Can your husband trust you with a little? Or does he see you as a woman who is in competition with other women? A lot of women are in competition with people they should not be in competition with. Praise the Lord. You cannot be in, comp be in competition with yourself. Make yourself better. Train yourself to be better. Train yourself to be so good at what you do. Train yourself to be different and to stand out. The last thing I want to do is preach or sound like anybody. The calling is different. My ministry is not to everybody. So it would be unwise of me to expect every woman to attend the wings. Does it take away my position? It doesn't. But you must understand this thing so that you can be at peace. And I've said it before, nobody can be you and you cannot be anybody. 14, she is like the merchant's ship. She brings her food from afar. Diversify, diversify. You must not do one thing. I have a spa, for instance. 
And in my spa, I said, what are the other needs that I can make money in, even in the spa, without leaving the spa? I know women like cosmetics. I, bam, add cosmetics. I know they like their hair to be washed and all of that. Bam, at saloon inside. Within the same space, you can make money. If you are selling kunu aya, for instance, the shaft that comes from me, there are people that will buy it. Anything that you are doing, multiply it. And we are not saying you must go and carry money from somewhere. The one that you are already doing, if you are a photographer, there's nothing wrong with learning film editing. With the same camera, with your phone. Multiply what you are doing. No matter what you are doing, there's something within that thing that you are. If you're an instrumentalist, there's another position you can occupy in church. And you may even be getting revenue from. You say, oh, oh, oh I, I, I play the band. Then you can sit down. When they are calling, you know, for an, an admin, for instance, they are calling for a secretary. You sh how does it affect what you are? It doesn't. You're multiplying yourself. We must think beyond the normal. If you are making hair, you are a braider. Within that braiding, go and learn how to do Yvonne. Learn two hand within that same thing. Don't be doing what we know you are doing 2020. You are 2020, you are still doing it now. You didn't add. Add into it. 22. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Anytime the Bible is talking about the word and the color purple, it is talking about royalty. Every woman here is called a queen and it's not by accident. From the inception of the wings, you are called a queen because that is what you are. But until you understand that it is not just a title, you will live like a pauper. Every woman is a queen. Wear your crown. Adjust it. Once in a while, the crown will shake. Things will happen. It will shake you. Emotionally, it will shake you. You might have lost your husband. You might have lost a child. You know, things are not working maybe. But it does not take away your crown. The king of England is sick as we speak and has cancer. Has this stopped him from becoming king? Adjust your crown. It may be tilted to one side. Adjust it. Own yourself again. If you have lost yourself, look in the mirror today. There were some wonderful affirmations. I will speak to Queen Regina. If we can get those affirmations, we post it on D-Wings platform, our WhatsApp platforms. I want you to print it, place it by your mirror. May I have some Bible verse? Those are my own editing. Now, fire, fire. When I look at you, you know, I don't have affirmations, but I think I'll add this one. Yes, I'm in a deliverance ministry now. It'd be stupid of me to go home and go and, <laughs> and be doing only affirmations. But you can add that to your prayer life. Because affirmations work. You tell it to yourself until you begin to live it. And that's why it's not every woman you can tell something and they'll be angry. You know your name. For instance, I know my name is Deborah. You, your name is not Deborah now. You that they borrow Deborah. Your name is Rita, and I'll be angry. How far now? Even you that is currently, is he head all right, girl? Like, do we need to check? It's not everything you quarrel about. It's not everything you get angry about. This day, the one I'm doing now, <laughs> I was sharing my sister. There's something I don't like when I'm eating. Because I work so hard. Like my timeline is full, and I, but I'm not complaining. I like it because I cannot be idle. From my university days, anybody listening to me, they know. While everybody is sitting down, me, I'm selling bag. If I'm not selling bag, I'm doing saloon. If I'm not doing, I've never been an idle person. If you want to ask, University of Joss, my first degree is in mass communication. I've never been idle. Amongst all my friends, Deborah must be doing something. Don't tell me like money. You know, ah, no, 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 it's not today. It's not today. So when I'm telling you about money, I know what I am saying. When I'm eating, I don't see, because I'm talking all that. I'm talking all the time. So when I'm eating, just allow me. So now, and all my children in the house, they know. They know that I don't like it, but yet they keep doing it because I'm very tolerant. If you see me angry, find out. You hardly see me angry. 
every time I'm smiling, because I've trained myself to be like, like what is in life? What, what, is, what is in life? That tomorrow you may not even be part of it. That time is not in your hands. It's in the hands of God. Why not enjoy every minute that you know you have left? So if you see me angry, eh? You, if, I, you, if you know the reason, you help me fight that person. And so I said, you may disturb me, but when I'm eating, please. So now when they are talking, I can be eating now if you're talking to me, I will answer you. And the last time I did it to one of my sons, he started laughing. Because even me, I started laughing. What am I saying? Set boundaries and keep them. Don't allow anybody to overwalk you. There's one of our daughter that I'm trying, you know, I try to settle, you know, a, 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 a quarrel. They will come back from church and immediately they come back from church. The man wants pandemic. And so, of course, she's always doing it. But, you know, on one of these occasions, she was tired. He is either going to ask for pandemic or jollof rice. And on one of these occasions, she was tired and there was a fight. This is the first time I'm going to say this. I didn't talk to her, but I talked to the man. I said, sir, you know you're very strong. And the, the Bible says people are stronger than us. If you people come by, you can pound this yamu. Is it not two of you that went to church? Yes. In fact, she, she even wakes up before you. She will bathe the children, get them ready for church, do everything and come to church. And then many people will go back. You, you want to sit down in the parlor and watch TV and let her go to the... Is it that she has not been doing it? She has been doing it. So if this wants you help her, you know people are very strong. Yes, now. When there's a choir in the house, they'll tell the woman, you know, men are like that. They will change. Keep praying for him. Sometimes we have to tell them the same thing. God forgive me. When I heard the case of uh, one woman that was beaten, you know, if I'm my family, I can just be myself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That was beating the husband. I was tempted to tell the husband, keep praying for her. She will change. You know, because of the children, just be patient. She will change, oh. This woman, she will change. You know, it's not easy. We may go through so much pressure. You have to be understanding. I, are you sure it's not the way you are talking to this woman that is making her beat you? What am I trying to say? Sometimes the expectations that they put on us is so wide. But don't kill yourself. Do your best. There's nothing I can't do for my family. And I'm such a structured person that everything around me is structured because I function better when things are structured. I don't just wake up and I wake up, I've carried my bag, I'm out. No, 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 no. The day before, in fact, two days, maybe even one year before. I'm using the analogy of one year so you know how I plan. But still, rest if you're tired. The, 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 the virtuous woman, they say she's dressed in silk and in purple robes. We want to save, we need to save, but Queen Regina said something. Have a, in fact, there's something I have with my children. It's called, um, where's David? Come. There's something we do on Saturday. Let me show you. <laughs> this was not a planned whatever. There's a day. There's a name I give to sex. Enjoyment Sat Saturday. Say it louder. Enjoyment Saturday. You may go back. It's enjoyment Saturday. And that day is enjoyment for us. We can buy pizza. We can buy two on Shinkafa. The Mi and Kuka. Say Asa, Ma Ishanu, Kadan Achiki. The Nama, Kamangura Goma. Ah. Imba Ma Ishanu Achiki. It's no longer two on Shinkafa, the Kuka. You know, the regular one is Kuka. I'm in Kinsaka, I'm in Shanratiki. Muzona, Muchi. Put the phone on silent. I don't see. What? Oh, is it my spa days? Tell me that these children will not grow and know that, yes, walk, walk, walk. Because they see how much mommy walks. My own son, sometimes David will come and tell me, Mommy, you need to take a nap. You need to rest. They see how we walk. 
it's important that they see how we work. But it's important that they know that we take out time to rest. When is my spa day? Honey, I'm off to the spa in case my phone rings. I'm in the steam room. Doing my hammer, mom. You know, like, there's no time. <laughs> 25. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. It may look like you are going through so much stress, you are suffering, things are hard, things are this thing. And that's why I say sometimes, before you see any woman that is doing very well, go and check, is that how she started? I remember about eight years ago when I started my business. The structure that is on ground now, we celebrated eight years in December for one of my business. It's not how we started. I know how many walls we broke down. I know how many, in fact, we've had so many incidences that brought loss, but we've also had gain. So it's not easy. Any small thing in a the marriage, there's no money, you, you know? And a lot of women, sometimes the way you talk is as if you even marry that man because of money. It's as if you're dating the man because of money. If he is, you go make your own money now. Because when you're listening to them during counseling, all you hear, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do, he doesn't do. All this one we're talking about, make your money, be independent, be this, be that. It comes with a lot of sacrifices. It comes with a lot of endurance. It comes with a lot of patience. So, give yourself time. You're not doing bad. There's a time and a season for everything. You cannot plant today and the next day you're going to look at the, the, the seed, whether it has started bringing out oranges. No, now. Give yourself time. No matter how much you have, you can start something with it. Don't be waiting for one million. Don't be waiting for... People have started business with 50,000, 100,000. And because they were diligent and they understood. And I love the one she said about Ashwebi. Let me tell us something, and I'll round up in five minutes. Luxury stores, like all the big brand stores, there's a marketing strategy that they have. I don't want to call any name. And one of those strategies is that when somebody they feel will not buy something comes into their store, they act rude to you. They just shove you off and they don't give you time. And you, because you want to, it's the human nature to impress. And so because you want to impress the shop attendant, you will buy something to prove to the sales girl. She, she was looking down on me now. He was, and you know movies, they project it. Somebody will come in, you know, they say, oh, you don't look like you can afford this. Then before you know, she'll now bring up big money, she'll now buy. It's a, it's a marketing strategy. Because when you come into the store and somebody has been rude to you, you will not want to spend, you even spend two million that you don't have. After all, you were rude to me. I bought it. You can't, you not carry the bag. You'll be going up. Mm. After all, the thing, I still bought. They don't use your head. You have spent money to impress people you don't know. How many of us are spending money to impress people that we don't know? How many of us are spending money to impress people that have nothing to do with how much we feed, how many children we have, school fees that you have to pay because you're coming to church, you go and borrow money, you want to go for one wedding, you go and buy, you buy, you buy, you buy. Where is Nokia 3310 today? That I should be you bought for 15,000, you wear two, three times, you might not even want to wear it again. You keep it aside. The next month, another wedding will come, you will buy. You are comparing yourself with people that are not working for their money. I don't come here and ask you, if you don't sow seed, you will die in seven days. Mm -hmm. So if I'm using my money, I have, to, I have to use it well. I don't come here and force anybody, even for giving service. In all these women here, how many people would I send texts to personally? Come and give. If you give, it's for your own good. Especially when you know this is a place that when you give, nobody will use your money. This is a place where you give. Somebody will carry rice and say, God bless you. Even though it's my name, they are calling. I'm not the only one that provided. All of us that gave, God will bless you. Because today you will feed angels. 
You see that your blouse that you're no longer wearing is an angel that will carry it and go and wear. And that's Bible, um, you know, we, we want to do some and leave some. Praise the Lord. A virtuous woman is not perfect, but she knows herself. She knows what she is worth. And because she knows what she is worth, she does not marry just anybody. You see the young, young ones amongst us, all those men that are coming to tell you lies, God will remove them from your way. And he will bring somebody that is a friend, a father, and a brother. Somebody that will lead you. And if you're here, you're married to a man that does not have confidence in himself, God will give him confidence. Because if a man is confident, he will establish his wife. It's not every man a woman can leave. If your woman is saying, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, check, check yourself. You're either not taking care of her emotionally or financially. Because what men don't understand is, women have more than financial needs. We are emotional in nature. So if you're not filling that void, and that's a man, my wife doesn't complain. My, you know, my partner doesn't complain. You see, when your wife stops complaining, oh, pario, let her complain. It's good for your head if she's complaining. But you see, women, the moment a woman is no longer complaining, Should we tell them? Women, should we tell them? So women, are, should we tell them that when we are no longer complaining, you see we are happy, we are not complaining, you are not afraid. As a man, you are here. Your wife has not fought you recently. She has not complained recently. You are still doing the things that you used to do, that used to make her complain. But now she's not talking. Be very afraid. As your mother, I love you so much, I'm telling you. Be very, very what? And that's why the worst thing that can happen to a man is to underestimate a woman, a queen. Wars have been fought because of us. War. If you know who you are, if you know, if I come back to this word, the hundred, I'll still be a woman. So queens, Go into this week planning. Go into this week praying. Go into this week and, and we run through scripture. But I want you to go back. We know Proverbs 31. We know that. But see, read it line by line. And anyone that you can ascribe yourself to begin to say, okay, this, 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 this. Who can find her? She's Proverbs 31 women. A lot of us are here. Can we celebrate Jesus? And that's why the Bible says, when a man findeth a wife, he finds a what? When a man findeth a wife, he finds what? And obtaineth what? Ah, you are favor personified. The moment you know it, the better. And a man that is wise will treat his woman well, so that she can pray for you. So women are not praying for you, because when you get money, you take it outside. You cannot have money. It's not cost. I love you as a mother. So I'm telling you. When a woman prays for you and you honor her, you regard her and you listen to her. Even witchcraft cannot stop you. Can we rise to our feet? You are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift my voice. Why I sing to you. Let me tell us. You may be here. You say, ah, mama, all this one, you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't have husband. I don't have this. God is better than a husband. Men will be saying, what is? Yes. Just like God is better than your wife. Because at the end of the day, when you look, there, there are times you will look left and look right there. It is only his hand. If you ask some women here, it is God that has kept them. It's not their marriage. And I want you to know as a single woman, marriage does not define you. It adds to you, but it does not define you. It does not. In fact, some marriage will kill you. Pray that.
that you find yourself in the right one. And that's why as a woman, never get angry to the extent that you see that man, you stop praying for him. If you go through social, go through social media, no, just pity for that man. Those same things you are seeing, the man is seeing it though. And God help you if he's not born again. You must pray for him. You must what? Pray for them, care for them. That's the position that God has given us. And God will give you the strength to do it. Because I know it's not easy to love an undeserving person. But you see, that's why we are women of God. And that's why we act, we think, not like the world thinks. We are not molded by the things of the world. We are molded by the word of God and what he says. And if you allow him to continue to mold you, you will enter into a state of almost perfect. And God will help each and every one of us. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Why I lift my voice? Why I sing to you?